Today I bring you Miki Kuhara's Small Myths while I read the words she wrote for it. There is a little vacant lot in our neighborhood. The lot, which does not face a public road, has little use value and was once opened up to those who wanted to work the land in their spare time. When our children were still small, my late husband was granted a patch of land and grew potatoes and tomatoes. He often took the children there. They tiled and watered the soil together while playing. There was a large cherry tree in the vacant lot. My husband and I once went to see this cherry tree in bloom. He was battling cancer but could still walk. About two months later, he passed away. Eventually, the owner of the land stopped opening the field to the public. It seemed there was a dispute with one of the tenants. The vacant lot, no longer cultivated by anyone, became a piece of land only to be mowed of overgrown weeds for maintenance. Each time the land was sprayed with herbicides, the soil became infertile. Finally, the big cherry tree no longer bloomed. One Saturday afternoon, my second son was reading a comic book. I looked at him through the viewfinder of my camera. Trying to place the focus on him, the words killing each other jumped out from the page that was open. I felt tense, bound by these words that had been forced on my eyes. I involuntarily released the shutter. Why did I release the shutter? Impulse, awe, and disgust within me. Pressing the shutter does not take you to another world. In the print I saw later, any shudder that abruptly arose at that moment had not been photographed. Nor was there the sense of disaster that these words had emitted at the time. Only the usual profile of my second son. A friend of mine was driving a car. As she was about to park near the train station roundabout, she saw a kitten in front of her car. The moment my friend noticed the cat, she exclaimed to herself, What am I going to do? Between the moment she spotted the cat and her words, What am I going to do? She should have said something like, Oh, a kitten, or what's that? And then some other words as she got out of the car and approached the cat like, How cute, or how small gently holding in her hands and feeling its warmth and the lumpy touch of its bones. It's only after all that should she have said, what am I going to do? Once she had considered the imbalanced circumstances between the cheap pink collar on the kitten's neck, its position in the middle of a deserted roundabout and its guest age. However, she instantly skipped all the steps she should have gone through before saying, what am I going to do? Her words, what am I going to do, are similar to the sound I feel when I press a small protrusion of my camera. The blank she skipped out had been filled by the feel of the cat coming through her hands, but she could not resist her fate, living in an apartment and her husband's dislike of cats. The blank I skipped out is always unlikely to be filled, and only what am I going to do. A mixture of anxiety, determination and hesitation continues to string together one after another. The above is the text I wrote and published as a statement for my solo exhibition in 1998. Many years have passed since then but the feelings I expressed have probably not changed. The camera cuts out scenes that I seem to be seeing but I am not, bringing new discoveries. I gather the fragments that emerge through my acts of photographing, neither an affirmation nor a denial. This book consists of photographs taken from 1996 to 2021. Miki Kuhara, July 2022